Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and because St. Valentine's Day is coming, I want to provide you with new ideas for jewelry to wear or to prepare your gifts for this beautiful holiday. Today I'm going to be showing you this cute little heart. It's so dainty and small and by the way, if you are a beginner in beading or in brick stitch, I think this is the great tutorial that you could start with. But if you are an experienced beader, I provide for you a free pattern for this tutorial. And if you like small and discreet jewelry, this is one possibility to wear. So if you like what I'm showing you here, consider subscribing with the bell, liking and sharing this video in this way. You help me so much. Now, without further ado, let's get started with the list of the materials. Okay, guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of Toho beads, pink and black. And by the way, you could check description for full list of materials, Facebook and Instagram pages to share pictures of your creations that you did following me, link for PayPal donations, link to my second channel, and you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel. Okay, let's continue. These are scissors. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches to 0 0.15 millimeters. This is size 10 beading needle. You could use size 11 or 12 as well. And this is a free pattern that I provide. As I said, this is a beginner's level brick stitch tutorial. Okay, and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and as I said, if you're new to brick stitch, this is a great tutorial you could start with. You see, I have this easy pattern here and down there in description, you will see a tutorial on how to make your own beading pattern. And now I'm going to start it adding these two black beads. If you don't see, there are two black beads here and uh, one at the edge. And this is also one if it's not visible very much from my pattern. So first I'm going to take these two beads and I take them. I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here I want to make a knot. Okay, I do it the usual way, a loop and two times going through them. Then what I want to do is go one more time through those beads and you see I want to make them stay next to each other with the holes pointing in this direction. And now guys, here what I want to do is attach the third bead, okay, this one here. And how I do this, I take the third one and I go under the thread bridge between those two beads. You see there is a thread bridge here it's a little bit transparent and not that visible, but it's there. Okay, and I go like this. Then I go through the bead that I just added. And then I go through the opposite bead. So initially I was going through this bead and then I'm going in this direction. So in this direction through this one and in this direction through this one. Okay, this is how I start my work. Then I'm going to take my pattern and see what comes up next. It is a black, a pink and a black. Okay. And when I make brick stitch, I always start with two beads. So I take the first two of the three beads I want to add, a black and a pink. You see them? And I'm going again under this thread bridge here. You might want to pull this thread when you do this. Okay. And now what I do is that I go through the bead that is closer to the center of my work, which is the pink one. Okay. And according to my pattern, here I need to add 
three beads and I added two and I'm going to take the last bead I want to add and I'm going here under the same thread bridge because there is only one thread bridge here at this row I'm going under the same thread bridge with the third bead and I go like this okay this is my tail thread that later I'm going to get rid of okay then it comes the next row which consists of four beads black two pinks and a black and I'm going to start it the same way I'm going to take a black and a pink and when I make brick stitch I always look if I increase or if I decrease okay here I will show you decreasing but now I increase what it means that I increase uh, here I have more beads in this row than the previous one so it means I increase so I take these two beads and when I increase I always go through the first thread bridge here which is this one now I have two thread bridges to work with in this row Okay, I go like this and as I said in my previous step, I'm going through the bead that is closer to the center of my work. Okay, and as I said here, I need to add four beads and I added just two in my first step and always the next ones I add one by one. Only the first I add two. Now I'm adding the next bead which is pink and I go like this and then what I need is a black one and I'm adding it at the same thread bridge when I'm out of thread bridges and I still need to add one bead I add it at the last thread bridge again so here at the first thread bridge I have two beads and here at the second thread bridge I also have two beads okay now it comes the next row which consists of black three pinks and a black and I'm going to show you this one as well a black and a pink I always start with two beads and because I increase as I told you I have more beads in this row than in the previous one I go like this and I go through the one that is closer to the center of my work okay now in my next step because I said I need three pink beads I'm going to add them one by one as I told you only the first step is two beads and the next steps are one by one so I'm adding them at each of the thread bridges that follow and as I told you here I'm out of thread bridges but I still need to add one black bead and I, I will add it at the same thread bridge here the last one that I've just been through with the pink bead with the third pink bead and then I go like this okay then I will consult with my pattern here I'm going to add one black four pinks and one black and I'll show you the first step and let you do the next steps by yourself okay so I take a black and a pink I go under the first thread bridge here just like this and then guys add three more pinks and one black and I'll be back okay and here I am I just added three more pinks so I have four pinks in total and I'm adding the last black bead from this row as I said at the last thread bridge that I've just been through and I'm coming to see the next row which consists of black two pinks black 
two pinks and a black. You could pause on this pattern and pick them up. Again, I'll show you only the first step, which is a black and a pink. And I add it here at the first thread bridge. Then, as I said, I go through the second bead like this. And I will continue black, uh, sorry, pink, black, two pinks, black. And when I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and I'm here where I'm adding my last black bead from this row and now I'm going to take my pattern and see what comes up next and as I see it comes decreasing of my work so up up until now I was showing you increasing now I'll show you decreasing uh, this means that this row has less beads than this one so uh, I will start it again with a black and a pink and then I'll come back uh, to show you what comes up next. So uh, when I decrease, I also take two beads. But this time, guys, I go through the second thread bridge, not through the first one, which is between the black and the pink. But I go under the second thread bridge here. And then I go again through the pink bead here which is closer to the center and then there is another thing I do and it is to reinforce this row by going one more time through the black and then through the pink that is closer to the center of my work. Why I do this? Because when the beads go through the second thread bridge they stretch a little bit and they need another thread pad to be reinforced okay now here I just added this pink and I need two black beads here it's not very busy visible from the pattern but these are two black beads and I'm taking one going under the next thread bridge and add it then I'm taking one more and again go under the next thread bridge and add it and then in my next step I need a pink and a black again and I take a pink it is absolutely the same thing as I showed you before but here at the last thread bridge I need to add only one bead because when I decrease here at the last thread bridge I don't need to add any more beads okay now uh, here I will make the last row which is this one and it consists of two black beads here I don't add anything and two more black beads. So as I said, I decrease and I take two black beads. And when I decrease, I go under the second thread bridge. This is the first one. This is the second one. Okay. I go like this. Then I go through the one which is closer to the center. But if you remember what I told you, you need to reinforce when you decrease. This means you go one more time through those beads that you just added, like this. Now, uh, what you need to do is here skip this thread bridge, okay? Don't add anything at the next thread bridge. Just go through this bead and then go through the following one. Just skip this thread bridge and at the next two thread bridges add one by one two beads. Okay, here is the first black. I'm finishing the frame of my work. Okay, one. And then take one more, just like this. Uh, 
Okay, and now my cute little heart is ready. And what I need to do next is make my ring band. And I'm going to add my ring band here at the bit that is sticking out the most, which is this one, or the third one counting from here where I am. So in order to reach it, I'm going here through some beads. I just exited out of this pink bead and I will go through the black one. Now guys, maybe it's good time to cut this tail thread. Okay, and now how I'm making my ring band. I take two black beads and I go backwards through this bead. This will be the base of my ring band. Okay, here it is. Then I go through one of those black beads and I take two more black beads and I go back as I'm exiting through this one here. I'm going backwards through the other one. Okay, just like this. Now I'm going backwards through these two. And I start the familiar herringbone stitch. If you wonder what it is, this is everything I do in the herringbone. I take two and when I exit through these two, through this one here, I go backwards through the other one. Like this. And just to reinforce, I might go backwards through two beads instead of one. And then I go like this. through the pink and now I'm alternating pink and black beads if you want you could do it only black or only pink whatever colors you choose then I go like this in my next step I need to black beads go like this fix them then go in this direction and i will show you here how i'm adding the next two black beads And I'm going like this, okay. Now I will continue this ring band and when it's long enough to wrap it around my finger, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and now I think this ring band is long enough for my finger. That is why I wanna attach it like this and finish my ring. Okay, how I attach it, it's really, really simple. I'm exiting one of the, in one of the black beads, okay? I'm exiting here out of this one. If you don't see my thread, here it is. And I'm going in this third bead, like I did before, which is the opposite one of this. And then as I'm exiting here, I go in the other direction just like this and I want to reinforce this connection here after I reinforce it I want to go through some beads here and what I want to do is make a knot and how I make my knot I choose a place 
between two beads make a loop go twice through the loop I've made make sure I'm between those two beads where I started the knot from and pull yes I know sometimes this brick stitch is finished without a knot but here because the beads are toho I think there is a possibility to make a regular knot then I cut my thread as close as possible to my work okay and now my heart beaded ring is ready guys